Hello kids, I hope you all are fit and fine and today in this lecture part number 5 we are going to discuss about the lesson which we started earlier in my lecture first. Now in this lecture my dear students as you have seen that this is the part number 5th that is the 5 lecture we are running out. So in this lecture we will discuss today about the basic theories and the topic which we need to take it more further. In this topic as I have mentioned you behind me some of the detail and conceptual theory about this lesson which will also make you understand that what is fine arts actually not only the fine arts it will also make you understand that in which category the fine arts were divided category 1, 2, 3 or 4. Let's see the first topic here. The first topic says that painting now the thing which I have did on the blackboard which I have mentioned on the blackboard is also somehow like a painting but it is not an actual painting what we are actually needing actually this is the painting means it is actually a word paint art you can say like word art I have described you some of the words that make some kinds of sense and uh, it is not today's in the world of 21st century known as the painting but somehow we can say that it is related with the painting because in the ancient time when Mohenjo-daro, Harappan civilization and many more other civilizations were working they were having different kinds of paintings but among them drawing the line, joining the line and making them line in making the line into the curve formation was also one of the basic style of the painting of their own and literally they started to paint human bodies, they started to paint animal bodies, they started to paint uh, different sculptures and they started to paint many more things also. So as we know that the blackboard is showing a flowchart. Now this flowchart will be helping you out to understand from where, which category, in which field, which kind of art, architecture, which places are totally rela relating with the painting here. See, let me define you basically. Painting is an art where we need to express our feelings, not only the feelings, we also express our work progress and we also express that in which field category our brain is working, what we need to express that are without the words or above the words we can express by this painting also. So therefore, the painting which we today are gonna learn is about the 5000 year old, the history of the painting. Let's take it out here. The old Harappan civilization which started the painting exactly or it may be like approximately 5000 years ago can be also traced with a picture of animal, birds, okay, or human bodies, Lord, God, uh, we can say that nature's beauty, pond, farm, river, many more things and etc. also. It was also related with the hunting paintings as we know that. Yes, my dear kids, see as the entertainment I have written here basically, many more things are also related with that where we need to understand the, what is the painting of hunting. Means when, whenever they were hunting, they were memorizing that thing and after the memorization of that thing, they were trying to make that memory going last long and then they were painting that memories over the wall of caves that can be said as cave art also in today's period. So the picture of animal birds or we can say that any sculpture or anything was related in the topic of their painting and furthermore these kinds of paintings can be seen in the Madhya Pradesh MP Bhim Bedka. okay they draws the geometrical sketches also. Now what are the geometrical sketches? Geometrical sketches says that it can be a spheric shape, it can be hexagonal shape, it can be rectangular shape, pentagonal shape, many more other shapes also. Whenever they were free, they were needing to make the paintings. This was describing that how graceful they were. It was describing that how beautiful their mind was going towards the logical theories of the mathematical, of the mathematical theorems also. Near to that mathematical geometrical theorems or geometrical uh, shapes, values and also. See, whenever we are talking about any geometrical theory, we need to understand that the geometrical theory which they gave in the ancient time without any kind of basic examples they advanced that level today we are actually developing our world same on the pillars of that old geometrical figures painting and inventions as i said you thinking is coming fast means thought is the basic thing which comes in the first then comes the theory first of all you think about that thing then you make a theory of that and then you implement that theory into whatever your objective figure are 
about to explore by you so that is only i'm trying to make you understand here and in this case of theory we need to understand the geometrical sketches were also one of the basic example of that where they needed to exemplify their own thoughts into the geometrical level so ajanta alora and other best examples of the caves are also there related to the cave painting art if you might have seen about the caves of ajanta if you might have seen about the caves of alora or one of the cave is also there which is not actually mentioned here but i'll mention you from from my side that is elephanta cave is also there in the center of the uh, we can say not the center but far away from 12 kilometers of the mumbai to the arabian sea inside of that over that there is a there is an island and there you can find this kinds of elephanta also i have personally visited that so these all the basic caves are also exploring this kinds of thing now this painting were not related only with the human bodies figures of animal bird creature or many more things it was also related with the god and goddesses idol making painting also in which they were trying to express their feeling towards their god or towards their ritual families which they were needing to relate with they were also relating their families uh, or they were relating their livelihood with the god and goddesses also they were praying to them so in order to pray and praise them they were making this kinds of painting and they were thinking that yeah we are connected with our lord and god so this is the basic history of the painting where if we are talking about the indian history of hinduism especially hinduism uh the see one thing we need to understand all the caste are having the same respect but according to the topic if you talk about the rangoli in the hinduism rangoli is the prominent thing art over the we can say near the doorstep is mentioned there in many kind of festivals or uh, some of the festivals also now rangoli can be seen as you can see here my dear kids this is the art of rangoli i have maintained you i have written you here so that you can easily identify rangoli is there swastika is there picture then ganesha painting also picture painting where it leads to the painting of you can find it like earthen lamp also okay you can find this earthen lamp this is like uh, not the lamp sorry not the earthen lamp but this is like a uh, pot where you need to keep the water okay and here you can keep the water this is earthen pot earthen pot means the pot which is made by the soil or which is made by the clay clay is the basic thing which we need to understand here and same as swastik painting also as you know that swastik is also on our uh, very we can say that it's a sign of the love is a sign of god it's a sign of <clears throat> related to the love of god okay when we are actually greeting the god we need to put this swastik also so my dear students these are the basic painting which i am trying to explain you here and ganesha idol also where we need to understand that ganesha idol is worship every time first before any ceremony of the hinduism so moving further now the fine arts of india singing painting dancing ramayana and mahabharat it means that the fine art is related with the prose and uh, basically uh, prosperity of the ramayana prosperity of mahabharata prosperity of these kinds of yuddh what they held in the ancient time kauravas and pandavas okay then ravan sita haran and many more things are there everything is somehow described in this painting where they are also making them into explore towards the entertainment purpose here so that is the singing playing dancing ramayana including the mahabharata also whenever a person is happy he is trying to sing whenever a person is happy she is also trying to sing here or dance also even the animal and birds are also having all the great full dance to impress a mate or to call a mate or to in order to greet the rainfall also peacock is dancing so these all the basic thoughts which we need to understand is related with the fine arts of india where the next topic which we'll understand is about music see i'll not teach you right now i'll just make an introduction about the music here there is sri rag okay deepak hindol meg bhairavi sa re ga ma pa da ni again sa is repeated there so these are the sargams and these are the basic rags of that related to the sargam where we need to understand that music is also a part of this here where we are trying to express our feeling our love our deed and our all the kinds of joy of our own internal conscience so here students we need to understand that the india its culture and basic thing of the ancient time is related all with this kinds of prosperity of nation about the handicraft about the fine arts about the culture amalgamation and many more things and this was only the concept where the britishers came in india they attracted in india and also right now india is having a great name in the world so therefore this lecture was all about the basic and detailed example of the indian culture 
or fine arts handicraft and other things i hope you will learn more from this lesson in the upcoming lecture where i'll be teaching you here so you can till then keep revising my dear students and also if you need to get an extra examples you can go to the google also and you can search by yourself till then keep revising we'll meet in the lecture number 6th that is this is part number 5 and we'll take this lecture more in the part number 6